Yo guys, what's going on? It's your girl here. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we have jumped back on Minecraft. I haven't done a Minecraft video in forever, for absolute forever. And I've been sitting here the last few days. I've been building a brand new city on Minecraft. I don't know why, I just had the urge to jump back on Minecraft and build another city. So I'm going to be recording this entire city. I'm going to be doing time lapse on it. And I'm also be doing tutorials because... I don't like to toot my own home, but when it comes to Minecraft, I've been playing it for a very, very long time, and I'm pretty sure I have the skills to show you a few little things to make your Minecraft city more realistic and a little bit more better and playable. So I have built many of cities in Minecraft, so many different cities in Minecraft. This is not the first one I've built, and to be honest with you, the way I play Minecraft is probably not. This would probably not be the last one I build. So I've started this city by building the highway going straight through and I've just done a section where I've come off and I've built the roundabout um, and I will be showing you guys different techniques on roundabouts and how to get the curve and I've also built the railroad right here which I'm also going to be doing a tutorial in a separate video but in this video I'm going to be showing you techniques on how to build a highway that looks a little bit more realistic than normal and stuff you can add to your highway to make it look like a highway so this is one side that I have done um, to build we're going to be building the other side over there this is the one side I've built just to try a few different techniques and a few different ideas and to show you guys what we are actually going to be building so this is the highway that's going to run straight through the city all the way around the city all the way around the areas we've got a nice little um, you know banner here we've got a truck here um, we've got a junction coming off here and both sides we've got like three lanes as well or two lanes three lanes however you want to look at it um, we've got more posts here you've got the, uh, the junction that goes down into the roundabout there and we're gonna have a junction that's gonna come up and join back up this side as well from that roundabout and we've got street lights etc etc and when it starts going dark as it is doing now, perfect timing. I can show you that all the street lights are lit. They might not be lit from the bottom top, which I'm not really fussed about, but the bottom they are lit, and to me it looks so much better than it being lit from the top. It looks, you know, the colouring and the actual mood of the lighting looks so much better. So I'm gonna go up here and start building and show you guys how I've built the roads looking a little bit more realistic than what they normally would and also the street lights and this signpost right here and then we'll get down into the junction that goes off because in my other videos where I've built you know roads and stuff like that I've never really done them to the point where they look almost realistic but this one I think I've got it spot on so what I'm going to be using for the road we're going to start on by extending this road a little bit just so I can show you how to build the road itself so what I use to build this road guys is concrete light grey concrete and yellow concrete and we're also going to be using some smooth quartz stairs that is pretty much all you need to do guys if you do want to build these railings here what I used for that as well was do 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 andesite stairs and andesite oh not scaffolding andesite slates and then a little bit of white carpet to go on top you got a light grey carpet you guys can use whatever carpet you really want to use it doesn't have to be the exact same and it, the road color as well guys does not have to be the same to what I've used you you can use dark you know you can use black wool gray wool whatever color you want to use I am using the city texture pack as well on a console so that's why it's not an original looking minecraft block okay so what we're gonna do is you pretty much copy what you've done this side on that side and kind of reverse it as well so it's it'll match up this side so we're gonna go one one two three oh wait we'll start with the yellow block right here you can add this as well guys Okay, yeah, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, and then three. So each side I've got a yellow block or going all the way up. And we'll add this side going all the way up. 
and then in between each one so we'll just start off blank at the minute we're going to go 13 blank so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ooh, eleven twelve thirteen I'm just going to extend that on a little bit as well okay and on the last so we've got two here on this third one we're going to replace this block for normal placing um, stairs so this is going to be your kind of like breakdown lane or just side lane off the road um, and then once we've get once we've gone past that 13 we're going to start with one two three and then normal stairs but face them this way like that and then we're going to do one two three four five or oh, four and then stairs and then one two three four five and then stairs and then two Okay, so I'm just going to fill this in a minute just so you can see what I mean. Okay, so we've done two and then we're going to go... I hate not having any back on the thing. we're gonna go stairs and then we're gonna go five so one two three four five and we're gonna fill this in this is going to be normal all the way up there's gonna be nothing on this section right here until you build like a car or something that's gonna be gray all the way up then we're gonna go do then we're gonna do five I'm pretty sure it's five yeah then we're gonna do five stairs so I'm just gonna put a back in right here a minute just so it's easier so one two three four five and then we're gonna go with the gray and then for the same at this side so one two and then this one's gonna be four three now you can make this as wide and as short as you want to do it you don't have to do the same as what I'm doing the only reason why I'm doing it like this is because it's easier to build cars on and it just looks a little bit more realistic two three four five and then fill the rest in with grey or whatever road surface you want to use and then you're going to do that all the way up okay so that's that's going to be your layout all the way up but then in between every other one as you can see right here we've got um, buttons now this gives like the cat eye kind of look so we're going to leave this one blank because that one has buttons leave this one blank and then we're going to make sure there's a gap of 13 between each line so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then on this 13th one we're going to get some let me find them we're gonna get some buttons which are gray just normal gray buttons and we're gonna add that in between each one so technically this would be here there'd be lines here and there'd be lines I'm pretty sure it's gonna be there no there so the, the road's gonna continue on there but we're going to put it dead in the middle, which I would say is there. And then just copy that over to this side, like that, guys. So it will look a little bit something like this. As you can see, we've got no buttons, 13 in between. we got the lines, and then we've got buttons, lines, no buttons, lines, buttons, lines, no button, lines, etc., 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 all the way down.
that's going to continue all the way down the road then on the sides you can add in some little bit of decorations and a little bit of barriers and stuff like that so we're going to get some um, andesite walls and for the flooring you guys can use whatever you want guys but I have been using let me find it smooth stone that's what I've been using for the side path kind of things you're not gonna be it's not gonna be a walk path it's just gonna be like a side kind of path just in case um, and for signs to go on and then on this yellow line we're gonna put the wall down as a barrier like so and then on this side where the in between each side of the road we're going to add in another barrier so let me start from by here we're going to put an upside down stairs then we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on the eleventh put a stair one two three four five five six seven eight nine ten eleven stairs one two three four five six seven seven eight nine ten 11 stairs and then on top of that we're just going to put down the carpet like so and then that's going to be your barrier and this side is going to be a barrier for that side but it just adds that little bit of barrier each side and that little bit of kind of like i don't know color texture kind of thing on the roads so that's what we're going to do on the main road and as you can see it's gone perfect down perfectly all the way down it's symmetrical either side there's enough room to build lorries on there's enough room to build cars on and where i've like sort of bending it a little bit it's still saying stay in the exact same color if that makes sense the exact same width and design if that makes sense so that's what we're going to do for the main road, for the highway road. I will get on to roundabouts and other roads later on in these video series, but that's going to be a highway road for now. Um, for the lighting, it's pretty much, it's so simple. It is one of the most simplest lightings you could ever do. There are other lightings you can do, and I will get into them as well. But for this lighting, all that we're going to do, um, so I've got light in this side and I've got light in that side. To make it easier for myself, the light in this side, I've used the lines. For the light in this side, I've used the um oh okay, for the light in that side, I've used the buttons. For the light in this side, I've used the non buttons. So let's go over to the next non button. Um I think I was gonna no. Was I gonna put them there? Yeah, okay, so this is the next non button. So what we're gonna use for this guys is we're going to find the middle which I say is there 14 high so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 actually go 18 5 6 7 8 18 high and we're going to get some smooth uh, quartz slabs put them just use them there put it opposite that carpet on top and then right underneath the floor which I'll show you in a moment we're gonna use duh, 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 sea lanterns and that's gonna go directly underneath on the yellow block so you're not really gonna be able to see it and that's gonna be our light and then I'm gonna do one the opposite side as well And it's going to be the exact same light underneath and then 14 highs uh 18 highs so one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen slab carpet and i'm going to continue that all the way down i'm not going to do them all on video but i'm just going to show you again so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Carpet, that one is a little bit taller. You, I don't know why that one's taller. For some reason it's taller. Um, when you're building them over and over again, you kind of lose count of them when you're building up. So one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Slab, 1, 2, and then lantern. Oops, underneath. Like that, guys. Now, as I said, you can do them all the way down if you want to, guys. There is no limit on how far you can go down. Um, I've left a gap here. You can start leaving some gaps if you want to. As you can see, I've left a gap here. And over this side right here, where the road is starting to go down, I haven't added any there either. I'm not going to add any more further down a minute until I've done this junction. Now, this junction, as you can see this side, is a slip road that's gone down because the traffic's coming down that way okay so traffic is going down and i've made started making the junction going in there joining up to there now obviously the junction coming in is going to be the same as that but flipped so that it's going to come down and join up with the roundabout now i'm going to try and keep it in the same kind of area um, so i'm just going to delete some of this a minute because that's going to be non-existent anyway. I'm going to use this side as a reference. And I've always got... So if I start... From the top up here... We'll see how many we've got from the white line. So this always one, two, three, four. And then we're just going to start bringing it out and out and out. So... White line... One, two, three, four. It can get a little bit complicated, so if you do want to just copy what I'm doing, that's not a problem. And it's going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I've gone 10 down for quite a while. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On this outer one, I'm going to add in the white line. Because that's the guidance line. Now as you can see here, we might run into a problem where the light is in the way. We'll just take away the bottom light. And then add in a line here as well. Two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just so that it's given everyone a little bit more time to join on. Now, what I'm also going to do, once we've stopped getting to this line right here, I'm going to start cutting this line down. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. Like so. If that, if One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We know that bit's going to be grey, so we're just going to be filling in this anyway. Okay, so then we're going to continue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way down. But if we jump back over to this side, you can see that we've started to split the road right here. So if we count, it should be the same as what the road is here. So it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 
line one two three four five and that's the same all the way down where you can see we've started cutting the road in now the difference is this side is there's going to be no line in the middle for quite a while because you've got you know you've got the free run to get into the actual motorway compared to what you have coming out of the motorway where you go in straight into lines now we're still going to want to make sure that it's even each side so when we do bring it back into lines then it's got that um you know it's got the evenness there so one two three four then there'll be a line and then one two three four okay so we need to go over one more again So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do that again until we've got the equal amount on this side of this line, if that makes sense. So one two three four five line one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. There's going to be one more of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> and then after this one, it's going to be the bit that comes into the road. I'll show you what I mean now. So the split in the road is then going to appear from this, from the next one. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then this bit is where the split is going to start coming in. We're still going to remove that bit because that's not needed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now that line can then start staying there. So we're just going to fill this in. And now we should have one, two, three, four, line one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now it will continue on, which I will just fill in in a moment, and then we'll start going down the levels. You can see that's how they go, to go down over there. But this bit right here is now and to totally different to what that side of the road is, is and it's going to join up gradually, if that makes sense. So we're just going to fill in a little bit of details. So on the other side right here, we've got the white line. Is like a guidance line kind of thing so that when people are coming into the road they know not to step this line okay i'm just gonna remove this as well and we're gonna do the dotted lines all the way down so what do i do four by four so one two three four one two three four one three four one two three four four three four one two three four one three four one two three four Okay, so where this bit joins up to this bit, we're going to do one, two, one, two. Like so. And we're just going to take away these lines as well because they're not needed for this bit. So we just needed to know the width of each bit. like so and then we're also going to take this bit away right here and this one and add in the yellow guideline and this will then join into the yellow guideline there as well just so that it's 
joined and if you really want to you can add in your line your line of fence right there just so that it doesn't thing um, just so that there's no like yellow really showing but you really don't have to do that if you don't want to I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna take it away but the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to build one of these signs right here now this bit right here you don't have to do the same you can experiment with what I've done on the top for the signage but the actual scaffolding kind of thing it looks complicated but it's pretty easy we're gonna go this side of this line of this wall right here and we're gonna go one leave leave one so four wide it's 14 high, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and what I'm using for this is the um, ad, and, end, and site wall. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 high and then we're gonna join it no and then we're not gonna join it then we're gonna go get our uh, andesite stairs and andesite slabs so we're gonna go two stairs here facing each other then we're gonna put a slab here and then we're gonna go a slab here so slab on top of the stairs there and slab one above the stairs there then we're gonna go normal stairs right there slab slab opposite normal stairs slab slab normal stairs slab slab normal stairs slab slab all the way up it looks complicated and it seems complicated but once you figure out the pattern it's pretty simple so we're going to do that all the way up until we've got one two full um, walls left then we're going to fill in these gaps here in the middle with the slabs like so and that's kind of like going to be like the ladder kind of thing that goes up and then we're going to join a stairs there um, a slab there and a slab there and then a slab on top and a slab on top we're gonna remove that we're gonna do the the slab for this layer it's gonna be in the same length slab as the last one that we put up which is two block two a block two away from the top then this is gonna join all the way up to the other side and we're gonna go this side of the barrier 14 high on this. Right, where have I gone wrong? This one. 14 high on that. And then. 14 high on this side as well. We're going to join it all up either side. And the top one right here, which is right at the top, on top of the last. On top of the last. Um, wall there and join it up oops to this side right here so that it looks like this okay now this side we're gonna do the exact same thing that we've done that side but reversed so we're gonna go slab slab stairs slab 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 stairs slab oops yeah slab 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 stairs And I'm going to stop on this one. Like that. I'm going to do the exact same fill thing and fill out the middle bits right here. I'm just going to set a time to, to daytime. Okay. And then once we've got this kind of frame right here, this side, so, well, you can start on any side, but this side, we're going to put a slab there and a slab there. And then in the middle, we're going to do a slab there. So it's going to be like a line, like a tick down. And then we're gonna go like this so a V okay and then we're gonna do the
the same all the way along. It's all about patterns. Once you get into the pattern, it's so simple. Okay, so that's what's going to be like this side. So it's like a V, N, V, N kind of thing. And then this side, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to flip it. So we're going to start at the bottom and then do like a line this way diagonally. Obviously, depending on how long your road is, it depends how many slabs it's going to be across and how many lines it's going to be across. Um, with the road system that I've just shown you, if you do what I've just done, it should come out like that. Okay? And then with the middle bit right here, we're going to get um, iron trapdoors. And we're going to put two, three, turn around, three, one there, two there, three there, like that, one there, one there. It doesn't have to be the same pattern, it can just be any sort of uneven pattern. It does don't make it even because then it'll look too uniformed and then there and then on the last two we're going to put them like that and then on top we're going to do the exact same thing so we're going to go two at the top like that one there and then just make it again unevened so that it's not the exact same pattern either side And then put two at the end there. So it's going to look something like that. Okay. It doesn't have to be the exact same patterns as I said. As long as it's got some sort of iron gate pattern. And that's going to be like for the, the walk-in kind of roofing kind of thing. Then what I've used for my actual signage. Um, I've gone ahead and used quartz. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yeah, smooth quartz. Some people like to use block of diamonds, some people like to use other things. I've just used smooth cloaks just because it's simple and I've used a few different kind of buttons um, just to add in kind of lettering kind of thing. So I'm just going to use this button, I'm going to use that. You can also use banners. Um, I'm going to get out say a red banner as a warning and then you can play around with this it doesn't have to be the same kind of technique I've always made it one on top and the hang below and then say that's gonna be that butter in with the buttons for that one um, and then this one right here I'm gonna add in a two and I'm gonna go dirt 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 and then in between that one we'll just add in the buttons and then the last one then is going to be another long one so say four wide and four high and then I'm going to add in two banners right here like this as if it's saying like no entry kind of thing and then buttons on the side so like a lane closure kind of thing on this side because I am going to add some roadworks further down so that's the that's the signage that's the lighting and that's the raw technique that I've used for my highway so far. Um, the more you build, like for example, I've came down here, I've added some greenery to the side. I've also added, because it's elevated, um, I'll show you this bit now, because I was driving down my actual motorway earlier and I noticed when I was elevated and not being level with the floor, there's obviously the crash barrier and then there's also the outer barrier. So what I've used for that, is um, doo -doo -doo, let me find it polished basalt I've gone up and then made it this way and I've gone two of these high so I'm just going to do a line right here just to show you guys and then I've gone up again Just so that there's like a concrete wall or almost metal wall either side 
just to like have a, a barrier if a car was to hit that then it'd get through that but if it was to hit that then you're not gonna fall off the edge um, you can also do other signs like this I've got like a speed limit sign or like a next junction sign or so all I've used for that is um, walls you can use any sort of walls chains and then just some banners to go up you can also change the banners to like a no entry kind of sign or no entry banner um, there's loads of different ways that you can do it loads of different ways that you can add in detail to your highway and the more I build the more I'm going to show you guys so 